Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build, price, and option a 2020 Lincoln Corsair Reserve, as well as learn about the features and other configurations. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. The 2020 Lincoln Corsair is built on the same platform that underpins the new Ford Escape. Lincoln's new small crossover is a direct replacement for the MKC, which will face tough competition from the Audi Q5, the BMW X3, and the Mercedes-Benz GLC class when it reaches dealer showrooms in the fall of 2019. Two turbocharged four-cylinder engines from the MKC will carry over. That means either a 250-horsepower 2-liter or a 280-horsepower 2.3-liter four-cylinder. Both engines come with an 8-speed automatic transmission. With the smaller engine, buyers can choose from either front-wheel or all-wheel drive, but opting for the 2.3-liter engine brings all-wheel drive as standard. The 2020 Lincoln Corsair boasts a handsome interior that appears right in line with other SUV offerings from Lincoln, such as the Navigator, the Nautilus, and the Aviator, with soft leather and plenty of features. An 8-inch touchscreen running Lincoln Sync 3 infotainment system is standard. A 12.3-inch digital gauge cluster is optional. Adjustable ambient lighting, 24-way power adjustable perfect position seats, a 14-speaker Revel audio system, a head-up display, and an app that allows users to unlock, lock, and start the vehicle with their smartphones are also available on the new 2020 Lincoln Corsair. Surprisingly, Lincoln says a black label model of the 2020 Corsair is not in the cards. Okay, let's get into this building price of the new 2020 Lincoln Corsair. We're going to do the reserve. It comes in two trim levels. We're going to take a look at both of them, and but we're going to take a, We're going to actually build and price the reserve. There's not a lot of information on the website because the car's not out yet. So what we're going to do is ingest and learn about as much of it as we can, and then we'll do our build and price. Real quick, I did mention the Lincoln Aviator in my intro. I did do a build and price of the 2020 uh, Lincoln Aviator Reserve Sweet SUV. I'm going to put a link up to the corner, uh, up, up in the corner right now, to that video. So they tell us right off the bat that the 2020 Lincoln Corsair is a five-passenger, two-row compact luxury crossover that combines spirited agility and responsive adaptability that sounds like responsive handling and it's got a flowing exterior design combined with a nice serene quiet interior that they're going to call a sanctuary i see that word used here and i saw the word used a little bit further down the page here so we can see that they've got some clickable tabs on this um on this image of the 2020 Lincoln Corsair, they've got four of them. Let's click on these and find out what features they want to tell us. Well, the first thing they really wanted to tell us was about the design. Uh, the, the design, how it's beautiful, the aesthetic, the Lincoln Corsair, uh, how it embodies all these different things. We're not going to get into all that. I, yes, I think it's a nice, attractive SUV, and that's about as far as it's going to go for me. Wow, that's a big statement. They say it has a sensational suspension, right? Smooth. It's got new integral uh, Bush rear suspension in the new Lincoln Corsair. And so apparently they think this is the bee's knees. And this is going to, this suspension minimizes harshness, noise, and vibration. And so all of that translates to an, a quieter interior. The Lincoln Corsair also has an impressive wheel lineup, let them tell us. They say, uh, what do we have here? The Lincoln Corsair offers a number of eye-catching wheels to select from. There's two 18-inch wheel, uh, uh, wheels to select from. There's two 19-inch wheels, and there's two 20-inch wheel options. So you've got six different wheels to, uh, to choose from. Pretty cool. I know that I'm going to have my eye on the two 20-inch options. Then there's the intelligent all-wheel drive. And as you know, I said this, that the Lincoln Corsair uh, has the same engines that are going to be, that are in the MKC, they're going to carry over. There's a 2-liter engine, and there's a 2.3-liter engine. If you get the 2-liter engine, that comes standard with front-wheel drive. 
but you can option all-wheel drive. If you get the 2.3 liter engine, well, all-wheel drive comes standard. Lincoln also pairs the drive modes with their all-wheel drive system, so you can really kind of dial in what kind of performance you're looking for. Yes, we did talk about the engine now twice already. I mentioned it in the intro. I just got done talking about it. And now here I am getting ready to mention it again. Why? Why am I going to do that? Because they're just making a really big deal about this, about how, how smooth and quiet the driving experience. Now they're using the word frictionless. I mean, these are powerful words that they're using. You know, words mean things. And so... I keep noticing that they're really putting a lot of, they're putting a big deal is all I'm saying on how great the suspension is supposed to be on this Lincoln Corsair. I didn't really even want to talk about the engines. I want to talk about them talking about how awesome their suspension is. So they're really, they're really uh, writing a big check is what I'm saying on this suspension. And then again, going into this sanctuary, right? This whole, and that, that follows right along with that whole quiet, uh, frictionless suspension right because you got to have a good suspension to make it quiet in the cabin and now here they're telling us that there's a, a dual wall dash between passengers and the powertrain this sound dampening uh, barrier gives you a comfortable space to converse listen to music or simply be alone with your thoughts very cool I mean they're putting a great effort into making it very quiet in that cabin like a high-end luxury vehicle is expected to be and then the link, the 2020, the all new 2020 Lincoln uh, Corsair is no different than any of the other Lincolns, in that it also gets Lincoln Embrace, uh, and this is supposedly adds a human touch to your vehicle as it activates upon your approach. Uh, the 2020 Lincoln Corsair uh, will uh, gives you sequential lighting, and that's a signature Lincoln welcome mat. A, which is right down here. There's like, I think the underneath the side mirror here is a light that puddles, that flashes down and shows the Lincoln logo. So as you approach, you're not in the complete dark. So they tell you that. So there's that sequential lighting, the signature Lincoln LED mat, that's that. And then a soft LED exterior glow and overhead lighting that illuminates the interior. So that all sounds really, really nice. They call that Lincoln Embrace. With the 2020 Lincoln Corsair, you can also do these personal profiles. Uh, this is a vehicle that recalls your unique preferences with personal profiles. Looks like there's three-person memory seating. Uh, the Lincoln Corsair can recognize a driver by their key fob. You can create pre-selected settings, including seat positions, audio, and available ambient lighting preferences. Right, So two fobs come with the vehicle. So if you really wanted a true three-person, you got to purchase another key fob. They're letting you know that right off the bat. Don't think there's going to be three keys is what they're telling you. Okay, let's talk about safety. Let's talk about safety. We can't talk about a new vehicle, any new vehicle. Can't talk about a new vehicle without talking about some kind of safety. The 2020 Lincoln Corsair is not going to be any different. They offer the Lincoln Copilot 360 and then the Lincoln Copilot 360 Plus. Now, the Lincoln Co-Pilot 360, they tell us, is standard on every Lincoln Corsair. And what does it give you? It gives you blind spot detection with cross-traffic alert. It gives you pre-collision assist with uh, automatic emergency braking. It gives you lane keeping, uh, gives you a lane keeping system, rear view camera, and auto high beam headlights. All right, so right off the bat, I'm going to tell you, I, I build and price a lot of vehicles, and I've built and priced a lot of SUVs. I mean a lot. I've already put a link up to my SUV playlist. Check that out as well. Uh, they're giving you a lot of good safety tech standard in this Lincoln. Trust me on that. Now, if you upgrade to the 360 Plus, that's going to give you some additional and enhanced technologies. That's going to give you what? A 360 degree camera, active park assist plus, evasive steering assist, reverse brake assist, and adaptive cruise control. Uh, a traffic jam assist, which includes stop and go and lane centering. Right, so this is the ultimate upgrade. Uh, if you really want every piece of safety tech that Lincoln's offers, that they offer, and depending on what the price is, it might be worth going all in for it, honestly, at, at any level, whether you get the, the reserve or you get the base model Corsair. Okay, in the same way they had that interactive exterior we could check out this interactive interior. They're going to tell us about this 
the thoughtful design, interior design of the 2020 Lincoln Corsair and its functionality, its utility. And again, here they're talking about the sense of calm and the serene and all of that, the inner peace. Like I'm telling you, they're, they're writing a really big check about how comfortable and luxurious this vehicle is supposed to be. So with that said, let's click on these little uh, information tabs here and uh, find out what the dealio is. Well, the first thing is the panoramic Vista roof. It is not standard on the Lincoln Corsair. It is an available option that adds a spacious and airy feel to the interior of the all-new 2020 Lincoln Corsair, but it is not standard. Also, there's a power sunshade that keeps the vehicle cool when the temperature rises. Here they're telling us that the 2020, uh, and it's no surprise, honestly, that the 2020 Lincoln Corsair uh, has des the same design philosophy as the Lincoln Navigator and the Lincoln Aviator. Right, and that's no design or no uh, no no big surprise. There's elements like chrome details, accentuated horizontal lines, and an atmosphere of effortless elegance. Again, big statements. There's an optional wireless charging pad, which is pretty cool. You got we all understand what that is now. Basically, every manufacturer, auto manufacturer, is in the game now when it comes to. Uh, a wireless charging pad and we can see that the uh, Lincoln Corsair well it's got that option last but not least the Revel audio system it's a 14 speaker system 12 channel amp quantum logics uh, surround sound you know it's gonna probably sound pretty good right so the Lincoln Corsair has this available Revel audio system will we get it on the reserve does it come standard with the reserve We'll find out. We will find out. We're almost ready to actually do the build and price. But let's talk about a few more things, like this second row sliding seat. That's pretty cool. Easily adjust your vehicle's passenger and cargo space with a second row sliding seat. Uh, the sliding seat bench can provide more leg room for backseat passengers or opens up more room in the cargo area because maybe you don't have anybody right in the back, but you got a bunch of junk you need to throw in the backpack. You can just move the seat up. I think that's brilliant. I like that. And going on about the utility of the 2020 Lincoln Corsair, uh, it's got expanded cargo capacity, right? Uh, the Corsair has additional space throughout the entire vehicle. It integrates flexible cargo areas and configurations, including a package tray and underfloor storage, adding storage in surprising places. There's power seats. You can power fold that second row seat option. That's pretty cool as well. Here's a couple more features on the 2020 Lincoln Corsair. Phone as a key and then the Lincoln pickup and delivery. Let's talk about that Lincoln pickup and delivery first. That sounds interesting. Okay, so with the Lincoln pickup and delivery, if your car needs service, Lincoln will come and grab your car, leave you a loaner, and... Uh, bring it back to you washed and ready to go that's pretty cool there okay so with this whole phone as a key thing it says access vehicle commands settings and information from your personal device through the lincoln way app that's what they call it your smartphone could be set up to uh, execute traditional key fob functions such as unlock lock remote start and lift gate access now you never have to worry but what if you lose your phone I'm sure they've got to, and as if your phone dies, a backup system on the Corvair allows you to simply enter a pin to unlock and start the vehicle. Okay, so you've got that. If you lose your phone, I guess you could still use that pin to still operate the vehicle, and, well, you know, your phone's just out there floating, but whatever. So, yeah, we've gotten through all the features of the 2020 Lincoln Corsair. They're telling us that the Lincoln Corsair and the Lincoln Corsair Reserve models stimulate the senses with exhilarating performance, expressive design, and extraordinary technology that elevates life on the road. So we have learned everything they want to tell us, right? Because this isn't a full, they haven't given us the full features page. Why? Because, well, the 2020 Lincoln isn't going to hit the dealer's showroom until the fall of 2019. And right now, it's the summer. It's, it's June of 2019. So we got a little ways to go before this vehicle hits the showroom floor. So we are ready to do the build and price. And so with that said, let's jump into it. Actually, let's check the specs first. There are some specs for this vehicle. 
let's go over them really, really fast. In the power department, we know that that eight-speed automatic transmission is standard. Uh, if you get the if you get uh, the regular Lincoln Corsair, you can get the all-wheel drive as an option. We know that the reserve. Uh, you can get that two-liter uh, engine. Uh, an optional for the reserve is that 2.3 liter engine. This is all kind of stuff that we've gone over, but I just kind of want to look it over together real fast, make sure we didn't miss anything. There's active grill shutters. That's the whole, an active grill shutter is going to be up front here. So behind this can close to control the airflow is what that sounds like to me. Okay, this is interesting right here. Now this says packages and it lets us know standard features. Here's the standard features list for the standard 2020, uh, the base model 2020 Lincoln Corsair. And here are your standard features for the 2020 Lincoln Corsair Reserve, right? And then they let us know about some of these other packages here. So standard, and then they each come with Lincoln uh, Copilot 360 and all of that. And then the Reserve also gets the convenience package. Uh, freestanding packages and options. Uh, there's a lot going on. There's a convenience package. There's an elements package. There's that Lincoln Copilot 360 Plus. And they let us know what packages are what on either the standard vehicle or the reserve. And so here's the column for the reserve. And they let you know here are the packages that are available on the reserve. And then here's the standard. Here are the packages that are available on the standard. Uh, so we've got this Beyond Blue Interior Package for the reserve, this elements package, then the Lincoln Copilot 360, and then this reserve appearance package, and then there's this technology package, and then there's this freestanding option, which is that head-up display, and we definitely got to get on that. Just to check a few other specifications, the wheelbase on this vehicle, 106.7 inches, 16 and a half gallon fuel tank. We already know that there's about six different wheel options. The overall length of this vehicle is 180.6 inches. Uh, the overall height is 64.1 inches. In the interior dimensions, uh, front headroom is 39 and a half inches. Rear headroom is 38.7. That's not too bad. Uh, front hip room is 55.6 inches. So, uh, second row hip uh, room is 50.8. Shoulder room, 57.1 up front, 56.3 out back. Uh, leg room in the front, 43.2 and it drops down to 38.6 inches in the rear. And then lastly, let's talk about these cargo capacities, and then we will jump into the building price. So cargo volume behind the front row seats is 57.6. Cargo volume behind the second row seats is 27.6 cubic feet. And total passenger volume is 102.5 cubic feet. Okay, so here it is. So you've got the 2020 Lincoln Corsair Standard. That has a starting MSRP of $35,945. That's the base model. And now remember, it comes, it's pretty loaded. You get full LED headlamps, tail lamps, Lincoln Copilot 360, uh, drive modes, power lift gate, second row sliding seat. And then we're going to do the building price on the reserve because, well, you get the leather, right, the premium leather seats right out the gate, and you do get that Revel audio system. All right, so they're throwing the whole kitchen sink at you on the reserve for $42,630, which I think is great money. I think it's a great price, which is why I want to jump right up to the Corsair Reserve. So after running my mouth on all of that, let's actually hit select and uh, get into it. They are letting us know that the pre-production model is shown. I already know that I want the 280 horsepower, uh, 2.3 liter engine. Now, to do that, what do we need to do? What do we need to look? We have to add the Reserve 1 equipment or whatever that is. And that seems to be the Reserve 1 equipment collection includes all Reserve content plus the following. Vented front seats, heated second row outboard seats, heated steering wheel, rain sensing wipers. All stuff that we want, honestly. Um, and then it's talking about 360. Oh, it's got the 360 degree camera, windshield wiper, de-icer. Yeah, all good stuff. And then they're telling us that they're giving us a discount, yet the price is going to jump up a lot. So to get this engine, you got to really go in all deep into your pockets for the money. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get it because I want that. Uh, All-wheel drive now becomes standard because we have the 2.3 liter engine. Equ uh, equipment collections. You know, now that we spent that $6,700 on this Reserve 1, 
we're probably not going to be adding too many. So the reserve two is 11. No wonder they're not going to do a black label because this is all black label pricing right here. Um, we're not going to add the $11,000 option. That's a little too ridiculous for us. We're not getting into that. We already did the reserve one. We didn't even know we'd have to get into that. We didn't even know we'd have to get into that. Uh, but we've got everything that we want so far, But and, and we had to spend all that money just to get that engine, just to get the 2.3 liter engine, but now we have the good motor. So let's check out the exterior now. Okay, uh, let's choose some exterior colors. Uh, here's the infinite black. Here's their ingot silver. They've got this iced mocha. What does that look like? That's actually pretty good looking. Here's this pristine white. And these two colors, FYI, are a 695 option. Uh, there's this artesian blue. It's a no cost option. Not bad looking. There's this burgundy velvet. It's a 695 upgrade. There's this flight blue. Also a 695 upgrade. There's this red carpet. A 695 upgrade. Now, these, this color here, this ceramic pearl, which is actually really attractive, it too is a 695 upgrade. upgrade. Uh, but this magnetic gray is a no-cost option, and it isn't bad looking. Those of you that know my channel uh, probably aren't surprised that I chose the pristine white as the color. I was thinking about ice mocha, but uh, the pristine white isn't too bad. Uh, let's see. What else is there? There's some other exterior things to do. There's exterior packages, there's wheels, and there's exterior options. So we already looked. There's a bunch of packages, uh, and it seems like we can do some things a la carte. So we can do the adaptive suspension a la carte. That's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and do the adaptive suspension a la carte. We're at 51000 and change. Uh, we have the Lincoln Copilot 360 Plus. That's cool. Uh, the reserve appearance package. Now, what all did th does that give us? 20-inch ultra-bright machine wheels, the bright grill, body-colored elements. I actually like that, and I want the 20-inch wheels anyway. So let's go ahead and say the reserve appearance package, and that should do it on that. Uh, then there's, yeah, then they're throwing out these equipment collection groups and all that. We're not getting into any of those things. They don't even show us any photos on that anyway. Let's go ahead and close that up. Wheels, we've kind of already selected our wheel. Uh, can we choose? We've got this 20-inch wheel here, but can we choose other 20-inch? Well, the other 20-inch wheel really isn't that attractive. They look kind of the same to me. So that said, we're just going to leave the wheels the way they are. The other exterior wheel option is the locking lug nuts, and I always like that. I think it's cheap security. I always go for it. And so, yeah, we got all that stuff on the exterior. Let's talk about the interior now. So we've got some uh, leather trimmed options. We can go with the ebony seats. Well, I want to choose the black leather seats, but it seems that no matter what color we choose, it just stays at that same color, honestly. Oh, well, there's the blue one. We don't want to change that. But it seems like no matter what, uh, what color we select, the seat color change never actually changes colors. But in Lincoln's defense this you know the car isn't out until the fall of 2019 and this is we, we we just get to play with it so we do know that we want the black leather interior even though it's not showing black leather interior now these other options uh what is there that beyond blue leather package no uh the elements package we already have that now if we don't remember what that's included that's that vented front seats the rain sensing wipers uh the heated second row seats that's the elements package uh, now, this technology package, it's expensive. Now, what is it? Now, they're showing the wireless charging, so we know that's in there. Uh, the phone has a key, the wireless charging, the 12.3-inch color digital instrument uh, display, the jewel LED headlamps. This is all the good stuff, boy. <clears throat> it's a lot of extra money for the compact SUV, but you know what? Forget it. I think it's still a good value. Let's go ahead and throw in that technology package. Now we've got a really good one. Now, the seat type, what's the deal with this? Uh, we have the first row heated premium leather seats. Yeah, we got that. Interior options, what is this stuff? All-weather floor liners, cargo area protector. Are they going to show us any pictures? Nope, they're not. Uh, well, we know what all-weather floor liners look like. Yep, I like those. Uh, the cargo area protector, I'm going to assume that that's kind of like an all-weather liner. So, yes, we want that. We also want that, ooh, the heads-up display is expensive at $1,700, but I want that. 
If you know my channel, you know I love head-up displays and digital speedometers. If you don't know, you see this uh, little subscribe button right down here? Go ahead and hit that bad boy. Hit that bad boy, and then you will begin to know. Um, perfect position seats. Uh, they don't show a price on that. That must be bundled with a package. We're not going to get it. The pinstripe aluminum applique. I don't even think that's attractive. The rear removable package tray. Uh, you know, I wish they showed a picture so we knew what it was, and they don't, so I'm not going to select what I can't see. Uh, the radio, we already have the up the high-end uh, Revel. Now, the audio upgrade, yeah, we already have the Sync 3, and we already have the navigation. We've got all of that. So, that said, let's go over to the build summary. Okay, check it out. I'm going to download this build summary, so if you like the way I've built and spec'd, this Lincoln Corsair, why they're showing this beyond blue interior is beyond me. But if you like the way I built in price and you want this little P, uh, the PDF, the build summary, I'm going to put the link in the description below right now. Okay, so here we are. Uh, the base price for this 2020 Lincoln Corsair Reserve was $42,630. Now we are up to a whopping $58,185. We spent a total of $14,000. $560 to get the Lincoln Corsair that we want to actually drive, right? The 2.3 liter engine. You know, we did we did option up a lot of stuff. We could have cut some corners and made this cheaper, but I wanted this to be able to truly compete with the cars that it's supposed to compete against. The Audi Q5, the BMW X3, uh, the Mercedes-Benz GLC class. And now it can. Then it's going to cost us almost $60,000 to do so. Uh, I think the Lincoln Corsair is very nice. I think the Lincoln, the new, all the new Lincolns are actually quite nice. Um, other than that, you know what? Good car. I'm going to wrap this video up. I think we've learned everything we need to know about the 2020 Lincoln Corsair. So if you found this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Other than that, I'm going to tell you to have a wonderful day, and I'm going to see you on the very next